The City Music Series on today is proudly presented to you by City. Is that what we're going to do? Uh, we are back Why with you quite that. I'm so, yeah, I don't know. Like, what did you think that's was going to happen? Stuff. Like, that's right, like right, me doing the weather. It's, <laughs> it's cold down here. It's a little weird over here. He's like, can you uh, discover me, please, Ryan? Yeah. Ryan Tedder, front man, One Republic. <laughs> uh, smash hits like the one I just butchered. Sure. Uh, also, yeah, apologize. Very fitting. Apologize. Yes, yeah, apologize. Yeah, yeah. Too, late, my, too late, my friend. Um, now they're out with a new single. It's called West Coast. We played a little bit for you last hour. It's That's it's so uh, it's fantastic, yeah. and they're heading out on tour this summer. Always good to have you, sir. Always good to have. Always you. good, good to be here. Always good to be here. So I heard you say last hour it took five years to, to get the song done. Yeah, I had the, the chorus and in the shape of it, and the verse and the melody. It didn't line up with what we were doing at that time, and I had somebody either it was either at my label or in my circle say, love this song, doesn't really sound like you guys. And when you're writing songs, it'd be like a you know, chef making a, 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 a food thing, give it to someone, they go, I don't know if this is you. Oh. So I got really insecure about it for four or five wow. years. So really that's insecure. why you held on to it. That's why I held on. Since the beginning. Um, the drums, it's, the production is much cooler. My voice got better. And I recorded all these vocals where the Mamas and the Papas and Beach Boys did all their vocals mm -hmm. in, in LA and United Studios. I found the studio. Brought in this girl that sounds like Mama Cass from Mamas yeah. and Papas, and we went there wow. just to oh, give wow. it the That's real cool. sense. And you talk about, you mentioned the Beach Boys. You yeah. said they were kind of a big influence for you. Yes. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's my generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, talking about that. the Beach Boys. How did that? How did they influence you? So I, I was only allowed to listen uh, for the, probably the first 10 years of my life to, like, Christian music, very religious music. I grew up in a very religious household and pastors and this, that. The Beach Boys, though, got the hall pass. So my <laughs> first album I ever had was Beach Boys Greatest Hits. Wow. Sloop John B is the first song I remember ever hearing. Wow. And the first concert I ever went to when I was like six was the Beach Boys. Wow. So that's, oh, yeah. That. That's your influence. Yeah. So you've, uh, we all know, you've worked with so many people, Beyonce, Adele, Lil Nas X. You said you were just writing a song yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I'm just so curious, like, how does it work in this business? Do, do they, like, text you and say, hey, Ryan, I need a new song? Do you reach out to them with, it, like, an idea? It, it, it has become so much more now, artist to artist. Mm -hmm. So, like, when Gail blew up recently with A, B, C, D, E, F, U, and I just te <laughs> I DM'd her on Instagram. She hit me back. She let, let's get up next week. Really? Uh, you know, with Nas, like, I did the song, um, you know, I want someone to love me. Yes. I need, right? That was a text on a Friday saying, can you show up on Monday? And then he rolled through two days ago, literally 30 minutes after texting me, can you That's play amazing. something? Miley's wow. the same way. Most of the artists that I, that I work with, you know, Pharrell uh, texted me a, a, an instrumental last week. Can you write the top line to this? Oh, wow. It really is. It feels like you've like cut more out the middle ever. man, so to speak. Like you guys are just kind of talking. Yeah, about, it's yeah. it's literally it's it's relationships more than anything now. It's mm -hmm. friendships, relationships. It's like you're writing songs with your friends. Almost everybody I work with. Occasionally, wow. you'll get a call from some like big artist somewhere who just wants to work with you, mm -hmm. and you go, okay, that sounds like fun. But That's it's, amazing. It's texting and DMing. So, That's well, cool. before you leave us, there are so many people who want to see you guys. So you're heading out on tour eventually. Or? Yeah, no, we're okay. heading on tour this summer. We go to it Europe here in a minute, um, oh, wow. and, and, and we had to cancel a few Russian dates, yeah. obviously. Yeah. But we're going out to Europe in a minute. We're going full summer tour uh, this this summer, which is going to be nuts. Tickets everybody's go ready. Oh, now. everybody's yeah. ready. Everybody's ready. It's going to be outdoors, mostly outdoors, some arenas. Tickets go on sale today at 10 a.m. Awesome. Uh, the pre-sale's been crazy, so it's going to be. We're going to be gone all summer playing the U.S. All Americans, everybody Ooh. here, we're going to be in your city. <laughs> yes. Come see us. We're Jones play, Beach here? Jones Beach. We're oh, going to be playing. Be yeah, awesome. we are. Jones, we're going to play uh, all the One Republic hits. I'm also going to play probably six or seven hits I've written for other people. So oh, Lil Nas, all right. Thomas Rhett. Oh. Yes. No one is more prolific Listen. than Ryan Tedder, and no one's cooler. Thank you. Well, I'm trying. I'm uh, trying. <laughs> One Republic's new single, West Coast. Out right now. Check and, it out. And Monday, I'm performing his weather forecast. <laughs> and he wrote for me. Yes, I love it. Yeah, no, it's going to be incredible. It's going to be a hit. It's going to be incredible. I apologize. I apologize.